Hello and welcome everyone. I'm Amethyst Dreamwitch and today I'm going to be unboxing the June Witch Casket. Now this is exactly how it's arrived. You can't tell it's from Witch Casket. The only way I know is because I'm used to these. I know this packaging. I also, the return address. But the, even the return address, it's a unit in a place that's got a random name. It's not, there's no no. there's no telling that this is from Witch, Witch Casket, unless you're like me and you know that it is. So. get into this. I do have a little friend next to me. She's um, just a tapily curled up. We had a moment. But, so, and also this is biodegradable. Not only is it biodegradable actually, I do believe no, it is. It's 100% biodegradable, which it does state on the lovely packaging. Not on the table, darling. So, the June Witch Casket. The theme of this is potions. And potions is something I absolutely love because, to me, it's... Modern day potions would be things like coffee, tea, you know, all the all the things that we can drink. Um, soups could even be a potion, you know. Um, so there is that. But let's have a little look see. So we go potions potions so the front artwork very understated but I like it it makes me think of um, a school logo because sometimes they do look like this um, the inside artwork I do love these ones. I might have favourites. But the message on the inside, a very similar uh, image. Hello, our beautiful witch casket family. Here is your June witch casket. And this month, it's all about potions. We hope the contents help you to incorporate the ancient tradition of potion making into your craft. Please read through this pamphlet so you can familiarise yourself with the contents and any safety information. We're already excitedly preparing next month's casket and we have so many exciting things coming up in future months. In the meantime, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to email us with your feedback. We'd love to hear from you. Also, please be sure to tag any social media posts so we can easily find and share your posts. Each time we're tagged in one of your beautiful creative posts, we feel so loved and appreciated. You all are so special and important to us, and it means the world to us to know you are happy with what we do. Sending all our love and positive energy to you all. Until the next time, be well, Deb and Ella. Now, if, you, if you're if you new to Witch Casket, Deb and Ella are a mother-daughter duo who came up with Witch Casket. They ran their own um witchcraft shop then they branched into the boxes and then the boxes have just taken off so it's um, it's brilliant i love this duo but um i don't read through the pamphlet i never follow that advice because uh, spoilers i don't do spoilers i like to be surprised as i go through so we'll come back to this um to pack everything away to make sure that one everything is there just in case just in case 
I've never not had everything be in there. Oh, now Loki's come to come in. Luna decided she, because uh, I wasn't letting her on my little ta table. Sorry, I've got the hiccups. She was going to go into the other room and look at me. Disapprovingly. She doesn't like it when I don't let her. <laughs> when, where she wants to go. So, the artwork. Different potions. Different bottles. Lunar water. Love. Used with caution. Always used with caution. Now, this is a relatively new thing. I think this has been going on for a few months now. Um, there's monthly manifestations on the back. So there's three questions. What are my goals this month? What practical steps can I take to reach these goals? And then what magical steps can I take? As well as a um, inc incantation thing at the end. The seeds are planted, intentions are set. I command my desires be met. So that's the artwork. That's understated. Again, I feel like this box is going to be really understated, but it's really amazing at the same time. Oh, <gasps> It is a sticker so there's an outline around and I do like I do like a good sticker I just don't use them quite as much as I thought I might but there's that it's a lovely sticker we have a calming bath ritual contains all you need to wash away your stresses can also be used as a foot soak there's always a kit there's artwork a spell kit and a whole bunch of other things now i'll go through the kit later on just to make sure that everything is there also there's a pin i love pins it's a little potion bottle but then on the back where the uh the the back of the pin is the back of the card Made with one hundred, made with freshly foraged toadstools, and the little uh, label at the bottom says potion number six. Oh, that is nice. I do like that. I've um, recently taken. Uh, I don't tend to wear pins. Um, it it was not that then you know they're just not something that I wear. Um, necklaces. On the other hand, love a good necklace. Um, but yeah, no, it's I don't wear pins, but I have found a use for them. So that's that's a whole thing now. That's a whole nother thing. Next, we have a crystal. I've missed a crystal for a few uh, for a few months. We have another little bit of artwork, but this is blue lace agate. Blue Lace Agate. Blue Lace Agate is the perfect stone to raise your vibration and encourage positivity, tranquility, harmony and appreciation. Its gentle, soothing and stabilising energy encourages self-confidence and calmness under pressure. Ooh. I, do, I do like my crystals. I've got a box of crystals. <laughs> I did try to put them in a chest and then I got too many too many is there ever such a thing as too many crystals and as too many herbs anyway that's not the point next we have a good fortune simmering potion blend an enchanting blend of jasmine chamomile and strawberry leaf add to water and heat to a simmer strain to remove the plants which can be returned to the earth with gratitude and use the infused water as a good fortune potion to anoint candles alter tools or add to ritual baths to help to attract your desired results so and there's the blend now i have to be careful with jasmine personally uh, because it gives me headaches 
Now, I'm not saying that Witch Casket can't use Jasmine because it absolutely can. I just personally have to watch uh, Jasmine use. If it's too strong, if it's too much Jasmine, I can easily get a migraine. It's, it's less a headache and more a migraine it brings on for me. But let's see, because it's Jasmine Chamomile. No, that's fine. This I can use. This I can use. I've smelt it. I haven't got an automatic headache. Migraine thing. I use migraines and headache. I use migraine and headache for the same thing. It's not, but you know. What's this? What's this? What's this? Oh, feels like a spoon. I forgot. Potion. Potion bottle in front of it. Let's have a look, see. Let's have a look, see. Ooh. Oh, I love this. The tits. It's a spoon. I'm getting excited about spoons. I have a few spoons, but I do love a good spoon. But this is the back of the spoon. And then on the inside, it's a potion. Oh, this may be my new, this may be a new um, spoon for me to use for my tea. Not the point. Ooh. 100% pure soy wax pentacle tea light candles. Tea lights are perfect for simple house magic and are a great way to attract what you need into your home. We chose white candles as this can be used for any spell or ritual. So set your intentions and visualise your desires met. So it's soy wax, which is fine. I can, I can handle soy wax. Uh, paraffin wax, on the other hand. Another migraine inducing. Oh! It's a, it's a set of three. <coughs> Excuse me, and they really do have pentacles. Oh, right, and they are in a little metal, which is really nice. That's a set. So we've got the pentacle tea light candles. There are. Three items left. Oh, this is different. This is not what I'm used to. I'm gonna go for this one first because it's intrigued me. It's a scroll. There's always a scroll, and usually there's a sticker acting as like a wax seal, as you might have seen. But instead, we've got a little metal ring. And oh. June Witch Casket Scroll has a recipe for an abundance potion. This potion can be used as follows to anoint candles and altar both use and spells for abundance, as a floor or door wash to attract abundance into the home, to add to ritual baths or foot soaks for personal abundance, or as a hand wash. Oh. That's definitely going in uh, a folder of some description. <laughs> I've got um, I've got a folder that I use for all the scrolls that I'm now starting to think I might need to uh, shimmy things around a bit in it. I'll deal with that later. Anyway, on to the final final two items we have. A glass potion bottle. A perfect receptacle for your elixirs, potions, tinctures and herb blends. This can also be used as a spell bottle. Just fill with things to represent your intentions and manifest your desires. So let's see what this bottle looks like. <gasps> it's it. <laughs> it's 
to he is such a cool little bottle. Such a cool little bottle. I love this. And it is a cork in the top. Just in case. It's not finished. It's I like that. That's that's a funky little bottle. It's a very funky little bottle. Right, finally we have an enchanting altar cauldron. Use this magical altar cauldron to brew herbal simmering potions, burn oils, etc. Never leave un unattended while in use. And that same warning is on the back of the tea light candles. So this is very well packed. There's bits. There's a uh, it needs assembling. So, oh, this could be how I do. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I've just been inspired. Um, because of how my cooker is and the fact that I have two cats, um, I personally, and I don't sit in my kitchen a lot unless I'm doing a uh, you know lots of finicky cooking um I don't tend to do semi pots however with this cauldron set up this might be an idea this might be useful for doing that Cute. Oh, that's such a cute little thing. So it's in two parts. It comes with a stand with a place for a tea light candle, and then on top goes the cauldron. I think I found a way I can do silver pots now. Like it, it, it seems so strange because i do have a friend who uh does use simmer pots um and i've always wondered about them i've just never actually done one because of how my kitchen is i wouldn't want to you know leave it i have a habit of forgetting about pans that are on. I've overboiled things. I've overcooked rice many times um, because I've put it on, come into, you know, left the kitchen to do to finish something off. By the time I finish that off, the rice is overdone. Um, but this, I think, is going to be perfect for a mini simmer pot. So. And that, that is a perfect um, size for me to have it, whether I'm at my desk or in my, you know, in another room, it's, it's perfect. And on the bottom of the cauldron is Pitch Packet. I do love that. That is definitely going to be a thing. Definitely going to be giving that a try. And then I can start doing simmer pots and creating them and wondering. And oh, that's going to be amazing because I've missed that. You know, I've wanted to do it. I've just not felt, not confident, just. I'm self-aware to the point where I know that I will forget about a Zimmer pot. <laughs> and I don't want to do that. I don't want to ruin my home just because I wanted to try something. But now, because it can be at my desk or wherever I'm sitting and working, it's another thing another aspect of the craft that I can make use of. I can branch into it. 
but that is all of the things. Understated, but as I thought it was going to be, but amazing stuff. Is this simmering potion blend. I could potentially use it as a summer pot if I like the smell of it. I could, um, I've got herb blends that I could use as a simmer pot. You know, it's, the uses are endless now. <laughs> but let's go through and re and read and make sure. So we have the first off enchanting altar cauldron. Don't worry, they're only symbolically going back in the box. They will be distributed around my home very, very shortly. We have the glass potion bottle, the blurbs in the pamphlet. So each item has a little blurb that comes with it. Um, usually matches the blurb, the description that is either on the back, on the card, uh, with the crystals. Um, it's it's a thing. Now it does say it did say potion spoon on there, which I'm guessing is this because no card, no info card, but it does say an enchanting spoon to stir your intent into your magical teas, brews, and potions. Stir clockwise to attract, counterclockwise to banish. And that is back in there. We have the Good Fortune Simmering Potion Blend. Enchanting blend of jasmine, chamomile and strawberry leaf. And again, the blurb is essentially the same. There's a slight difference, but it's essentially the same. There's not much anything. That potion bottle die cut sticker. A beautifully designed potion bottle from our in-house designer, Faye, which we felt needed to be celebrated. So we created this enchanting sticker just for you. I do like this, I do like that potion bottle. We've got the pentacle tea light candles. And again, the blurb is the same in the book, in the pamphlet, as on the back. So not much chance of losing things. We've got the calming bath potion, which I'm going to come back to in a moment. Um, the kits always last with me. The blue lace agate crystal. And again, it's the same, same uh, information on the info card as in the um, pamphlet. Next, we've got the Luna potion bottle enamel pin. That will be made use of very happily. I think I know where that's going to go. Um, celebrate the ancient art of potion making with this exclusively designed pin. This ornate adornment will add magic to any jacket or bag or enhance any wall display. Uh, I don't wear mine on a jacket or a bag or even a lanyard. Um, I have branched into the wall display but that's a separate thing. We've got the Abundance Potion Parchment Scroll. This beautiful parchment is inscribed with a magical potion recipe. Use this potion to anoint candles and altar tools and in spells and rituals to attract abundance. This information can be copied to your grimoire or book of spells, or you can simply place the sheet inside your spell book. Framed, sorry, Framed, these scrolls can also add splendour to the walls of your home. Now, I received my first casket uh, January 2020, and uh, that's that's a lot of scrolls. That's a lot of scrolls. Um, that's what January 2020, 12 in 2020, 12 in. 21, 12 and 22, 12 and 23, that's 48. So I've received about 54 so far. 
<laughs> so far so far um yeah i i love witch casket i will never not subscribe to witch casket um but yeah no there's the scroll we have the potions elixir elixirs and tinctures art print created by our in-house designer Faye, especially for you use the reverse of this stunning art print to work on your monthly manifestations and then frame it or add it to your grimoire or book of spells so that's this lovely thing so finally the potion the calming bath ritual it says potion in the pamphlet but it says ritual on the kit <laughs> doesn't matter it's it's it it is what it is that's so nope. not everything came out so we have <laughs> sorry i just i just heard the pattering of of feet and the cats the cats the cats although i'm guessing it's probably just luna who's walked in walked in and laid down on the floor she's a weirdo i love her though anyway so we've got what i think we believe is uh, amethyst crystal chips then we've got two herbs in their own little sachets and they are numbered so there's no way that we can lose track of which herb is which so they are numbered not just in the pamphlet but they are also on the um instructions which also has artwork so my personal thing with these is i will write out um the instructions i'll put probably put it in my book of spells um although i do have a potions notebook that i could probably do with using because it's it's a potion so it can go in the potions book um and it says amethyst chips passion flower is number one herb number one So I don't know how well this is going to, uh, how visible this is going to be. So this is, aha, uh -huh. passion flower. Passion flower is number one. And then rose petals is number two. I've got so much rose petals. So rose petals, Ooh, I'm trying, rose petals, add the plants above to water and heat to simmer, allow to cool down to room temperature, then add the chips, strain out plants and crystal and keep the infused water to add to your calming ritual bath water best used within 24 hours as you envelop yourself in the magical waters feel your stresses ebb away cool so extra artwork see th this is the only art artwork that they absolutely dedicatedly send but on the back of the uh, spell ritual kit instructions there is usually some more artwork unless it's double-sided and then no artwork but there's usually more than one piece of artwork floating around in a witch basket box so i've got the amethyst chips i've got the fashion flower the rose petals and the instructions so it goes back in here so that when i do put the herbs away in my personal herb collection i can im i can immediately move on to 
putting the uh, instructions into whatever book I'm going to be using for it. But that is everything for the June Witch Basket. Now, I do know that the July theme is calming magic. So it's all, it's, it's, it's just going to be things that help to keep people calm. Um, it's intriguing. It's definitely intriguing. But I like this. I have liked this a lot. <laughs> now, I know some people, when they do subscription box unboxings, they have, like, a favourite item. Now, I love the artwork, so the artwork is always going to be up there, and including the sticker, it's always going to be up there, although I might, I might have an idea for that, but I think my absolute favourite, no, it's got to be a double favourite, got to be a double favourite, it's a double favourite, is the uh, spoon. And I can get it back out again. There it is. This lovely little spoon. Because that is just such a cute spoon. That was such a good spoon. And the uh, altar cauldron. Although I'm not, it's not going on an altar. Although it might do actually. It might. Um, it's... These two are going to be my favourites. So, if you've been watching along and haven't and have been wondering about um, subscribing yourself, all the information is in the description. Um, different parts of the world have different prices. Um, which has have now changed the posting so the postage sorry so it's it now includes tracked delivery um i think too many uh, caskets were going missing in the post um so usually if you're in the uk you get it about two days after it's shipped um i have on occasion i have actually had it the next day um, on a couple of occasions, but usually it's no more than two days, two working days. So if you get a shipping notification on a Friday, you'll usually be contacted, depending on when Royal, when the post, I'm in the UK, so depending on when Royal Mail will get to my personal casket, um, depends on when I get the Royal Mail tracking information. Sometimes I'll get the Royal Mail notification before which casket sends their shipping notification, which is great fun. Um, and then, you know, sometimes I'll say, oh, we're going to deliver it tomorrow. And then it's like, oh, okay, this, this, this is a very quick turnaround. Lovely. Um, but sometimes if it gets shipped on a Friday, I'll get the notification from Royal Mail on the Saturday and they'll say, we're going to deliver this on Monday. Although if bank holiday, then the Tuesday, but you know, it, it still gets to me, which is great. Um, I don't know how it is for the rest of the world, how long it takes, but it's, it shouldn't be too much longer. Maybe add a week. I personally sent something tracked uh, to a friend in Canada and I sent that on a Monday and they received it not the Friday of that same week but the following Friday so it took about 10 working days nine working days technically to get there so you know I think it depends on how good your postal system is and everything else oh hello little Luna Yeah, that's tissue paper. She's she's exploring and very inquisitive. She's now inspecting everything. It's great fun. Um, so yeah, with the postage, it's 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 included, and you'll get the shipping notification. Um, you'll also when 
Royal Mail here in the UK, Royal Mail is the um, postal service, so we get emailed by Royal Mail to say, here's your tracking reference, if I wanted to, I never have, because um, I've literally just been told, oh, we're going to deliver it on this day, which is either the next day or two days later, and that's fine, that, that's fine by me. Um, and yeah so it shouldn't take too long to get to people um if you've got any questions like witch basket are a brilliant company to be um to buy things from specifically the subscription boxes because they do have an online shop but it's subscriber only and when they ship when you get the shipping in, uh, email from witch casket you get given the password to the shop now i haven't had to use that shop in a while <laughs> uh, mainly because when i did use it i was buying presents and gifts and things um occasionally topping up or buying something that i hadn't uh, that was from a previous casket that I hadn't subscribed to and then I needed more I, I needed it um, but yeah no it's 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 a brilliant company for every casket for every casket they ship monthly a tree gets planted they're part of, they they've they're part of a tree planting thing which I think is brilliant and they have planted so many trees all the information is on their website it's all there again it's it's all linked in the description um but yeah no if you want to check them out check which casket out and see what's what you absolutely can if you're wondering about it i would say sit down look at your finances and see if you can make this work because it's brilliant i love it i wouldn't cancel this now this is this is a thing this is this is my thing i love it um but yeah no i hope you've enjoyed this and i will see you again soon i stay safe everyone and blessings to you all <laughs>